hello everyone welcome to shortcut video tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can we edit a green screen video in shortcut so here i have two videos uh, first one is this video that is of a house uh, with some clouds moving and the second video is a green screen video that is actually using an aeroplane or a fighter jet now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two videos so that this green screen video overlaps over the house video and create a, a VFX video out of it. Okay. So the first thing is you should have your original video on which you want to place your green screen video in your timeline. Next what you want to do is just uh, right click over here and add another track. So here you will see. In the track operations add video track uh, or you can use the shortcut control line in the v1 track that is a below track you have to keep the video or uh, the original video the green screen video you have to keep on the v2 track so make sure your v2 track is selected then once this green screen video is playing on the player just click on this plus icon and that is where your green screen video would be added so now it is added uh, i want to adjust the duration as per my green screen video like this if you don't want that you can uh, either increase the duration of your original video or make more videos out of it by just simply copying pasting it okay but our main point of concern is how do we remove this green screen so as uh, these videos looks merged over one another so for this what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this green screen video go to the filters and here click on this plus icon this will bring up a search bar so search for a filter called chroma so once you have typed chroma uh, you will see uh, this mask chroma key and here you will see a preview also of mask chroma key that actually removes the green screen so let's just click on this now if you just go to the frame and play your video so this is how it is playing so when we use this effect of mask chroma key it actually masked our video but it did not do it the way we wanted it kept the green screen and masked the aeroplane out of it the fighter jet out of it which is something we don't want so what we are going to do is we are just going to uncheck this filter so that the original video brings up again click on the plus icon and again search for chroma now this time uh, we have another filter that says chroma key simple let's just click on that and as soon as we do that you will see that the aeroplane has been uh, brought back and the green screen the green color has dropped what you can do over here is using the distance panel you can actually select that how much green screen you want to remove so if you see normally uh, what it has done automatically if you just go to this refresh button so 28.8 percent is what it has done automatically but here you will see some of the green screen is visible in the cockpit which is something that is looking very artificial so what we are going to do is we are just going to increase the slider just enough so that this uh, whole effect goes away it vanishes okay so maybe around 44.1 percent now if we just play the video and you see that all the green screen effects have been removed and these videos have been merged together so uh, that is how we actually do the green screen on our videos another thing is if you are not happy with the green screen color you can use this key color option to check the color to take the exact color as your video or uh, you can just use this color picker tool to just pick the color from the video preview so it will take the exact color and that would actually uh, make the masking much more efficient so here if you just replay the video so this is how it is looking distance is actually now blurring it out so let us just adjust the value of the distance back to this much yes so 30 percent is now looking good and if we just play this video this is how it is looking so that's it for this video thanks for watching